what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're checking out gods of the arena i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do two episodes today but if you don't if you do if you do then you do but if you don't then the next episode episode three will be on thursday okay um because um the time that i thought i was going to have on this day tuesday it's not really working out that well for me so if you see one episode is one episode i don't even know if i'm gonna get to do the pacific at all which it get keeps getting pushed back um so uh, i'm probably going to end up doing the pacific another time not that you guys care that much if you watch it on the channel then this means something to you but otherwise it really doesn't but anyways we're gonna jump into this man episode two of gods of the arena i'm enjoying this series so much you guys know that you're enjoying it as well but today we're going to see what young batiatas was up to or what his revenge was because man this guy just pissed on him and i know he's pissed about it so let's go see to enjoy because we already know batiatas we we know this from season one that batiatas don't play those games you know what i'm saying he he can be ruthless in revenge he doesn't care so let's see if he developed this from this moment you know what i'm saying because this must be a turning point for him you know what i'm saying so let's see how this go i also want to see the fallout between him and salonius what happened there what happened between him and salonius because they, they were boys you know what i'm saying so i also want to see that so let's go check out this episode man episode two of spartacus guys of the arena and i'll see you guys for the review All right, so here we go. Spartacus Gods of the Arena Episode 2. If you guys don't know, if you're watching this right now, if you're watching this going straight into didn't watch the reaction, um, Episode 3 will be out on Thursday. I'm going to make sure that these are out on Thursday. Um, this episode was a really good one. I like the acting. I like the revenge. On what's his name? Viticus or Vit? I don't remember the guy. <laughs> that young smug guy i wonder they speared him so i don't know what's gonna happen there crixus almost beating gannicus i you heard what i said if he did i wouldn't have liked it because gannicus is just he's seasoned and you know crixus almost got the better of him he got him a little bit a little bit you know what i'm saying got him a little bit but gannicus is the truth you know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't like the fact of what Gannicus had to do with Artemis' wife, right? I didn't like that. And it's the same cycle again that we're seeing here. I know this happened before, so you know this. This has been happening. And it just goes to show you what you're doing with the story also. Kind of bringing things um into perspective for you of who Batiatus is and who he's always been. He would do anything to get status, to get where he wants to go. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you heard him made a statement about, you know, ambitious men earlier on in the episode. And you understand that he's just that type of dude. Like, he don't care. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like, <laughs> you know, there's certain things that I, that I don't, that I like about him. And there's other things that I don't like about him. Like, I'm a, if you guys don't know, I am the, 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 the lady that plays Gaia. I'm a big fan of hers, right? Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, not only the fact that she's always had good roles, even somebody was reminding me that he, that she was in Dexter. And when, when he said that, I was like, oh, snap, she was in Dexter, like, not you know what I'm saying, naked and stuff like that, like, I had to go and check because I was like, are you sure, because I don't remember, because it's, it's been a while, it's been years since I saw Dexter, and it's been years, I think, I think that was probably, like, season one or two that she was in, so it was real early on in the show that she was on it, but where I personally know her from is Warehouse 13. If you've never seen that TV show, which I think a lot of people, it didn't get the praise it deserved, but it did have, you know, a good amount of seasons. I really enjoyed Warehouse 13, and she played H.G. Wells um, in that show, and that's where I was like, yo, I like this 
this lady she's you know what i'm saying she's a really good actress i like her for that and also the fact that she's a beautiful woman she's a beautiful woman i like her i had a crush on her back in the day you know what i'm saying so i like her anytime i see her on screen i like her you know what i'm saying so when it comes on to batiatas lucretia all this stuff that is going on man the the, the slave mentality you know what i'm saying like you know him saying i'm not my father you know you know what i mean like that is just you're just setting yourself up for failure down the road you know what i'm saying with batiatas and the, the road that he's on of not giving two fucks about anybody and just doing whatever he wants to do just to gain status put his slaves out there to accept the consequences of his actions and don't think that you know what i'm saying the gods are going to like agree with that all the time and you see where you know what you see what happened at the end of season one like it was well deserved he he deserved to go out like that you know what i'm saying he just keeps disrespecting you know what i'm saying you can't imagine how big his house how big his house would be if he had just done the things that he was supposed to do you know what i'm saying if he had just gotten the wife back right spartacus's wife if he had just gotten spartacus wife back and had her in the villa they would he would have probably had the same relationship but maybe it's because of what happened between Artemis and his wife why he probably didn't want to do that but then it's but but then again he did take in varro's wife so it's kind of like it's just so weird the stuff that he does is just so weird with sometimes like you you're trying to re figure out what's the purpose of what you're doing if you're not going to honor what you're saying like your house is just full of lies you know what i'm saying and for some reason the way how they write his character you always like fall back into his good graces you know what i'm saying like treating him like he's the good guy because it's like you forget about his faults which is uh, you know it's a it's it's um it's really like commendable to the writers to be able to do that to f he's kind of like fooling your mind into thinking batiatis is a good guy when he's actually not he's a terrible person but you find yourself rooting for him until you know somebody that that you wanted to kill him kill him you know what i'm saying so it's just it's it's awesome it's awesome this show is just great the writing is so great hope you guys checked out this review if you have let me know in the comment section okay because because i am going to start writing down these people that has watched the entire video intro review um because i need to keep up watch time on this channel so that um as you can see we don't get a lot of views over here i'm trying all that i can to get more views and to get more people onto the channel okay watching this um to watch these okay so thank you guys so much as always just remember to like the video and also leave a comment if you can subscribe if you're new and of course terabyte out peace